Hi, and welcome to another one of Morris's favourite puzzles. These puzzles have been especially selected by my cat, called Morris, and he and I will present each puzzle for you to try and solve. Some of these puzzles are simple, but others may require a bit of mathematics to solve. So enjoy this one. Hello, my name is Maurice the Cat, and this is one of a series of puzzles for you to solve. I will give the answer later within this video, but I will invite you first to pause the video in order for you to solve the problem yourself. If you are a little stuck, then I will give you a little clue, and then invite you to pause again. Some of the puzzles are easy, and some are very tricky maths puzzle. This one is a tricky maths puzzle, not too difficult though, called the snooker ball triangle puzzle. I will invite my able assistant to explain the problem. Thank you, Morris. If you have watched or played snooker, you will know how the 15 balls are set up at the beginning of each game and helped by a wooden triangle. In this case, the wooden triangle follows the curvature at all three corners. Let us assume that the balls are all exactly 5 centimetres in diameter. What is the internal area of the wooden triangle? That's the problem. OK, I'm now going to invite you to pause the video because what I am going to do next is give a little hint. So go ahead and pause now if you don't want to use that hint. So here is a hint from me, Maurice the Cat. They call me Maurice the Cat because I'm called Maurice and I'm a cat. Split the problem into seven separate areas made up of three different types of shape. That's the end of the hint. Again, if you want to solve the problem yourself, then pause the video. Or else, if you are lazy and just want to see more of me, Morris the cat, then let the video run on to give the solution. OK, here is the answer to the snooker ball triangle problem. But I'm feeling like I need a nap. So I'll let my assistant run through the solution. Good night. Thank you, Morris. Let's take each type of shape in turn. Remember that each ball is 5 cm in diameter. The first thing to notice is that these three part circles in each corner are each, in fact, one third of a ball. The three round corners add up to one whole cross section of a ball, a circle. And the area of a circle is pi r squared. The next shapes to consider are the three rectangles outside the inner triangle. Each is 2.5 by 20 centimetres. So the total area is 3 times 2.5 times 20 centimetres. Now let's consider the last shape, the inner triangle. This is an equilateral triangle, each side being 20 centimetres. There are a few formulas for calculating the area of a triangle. I'm not going to go into how these formulas are derived, but you may want to do a little investigation of your own. There is half base times height. Everybody knows this formula. Though to get the height here, you will have to use the Pythagoras theorem. Again, I'm not going to do that here. Have a go yourself. There is another formula for calculating the area of an equilateral triangle, that is, a triangle whose sides are the same length. The area equals the square root of 3 divided by 4 
times the length of one of the sides squared. Or there is a formula for the area of any triangle, which I'm going to use in this case. The length of one side is four snooker ball diameters, that is 20 centimeters. So here in this formula, A equals B equals C and each are 20 centimeters. So S is 60 over two, which is 30. Putting these values into the formula gives an area of the inner triangle of 173.21 square centimeters. If you try the other formulas, you will get the same answer. So that's it then. The puzzle is solved. Exciting, wasn't it? If you want more puzzles, then watch out for more adventures of Maurice the Cat. That's me. Good night.